Hi everybody, welcome back. Again, Tony with Shinsho Yoga. And once again, here at the Yoga Loft in Freehold, New Jersey. Uh, doing a, I do a Tuesday night vinyasa class here. Uh, with everything currently going on, those classes are going online uh, at this point until the um, until the times improve and we can come back into the studio. So if that's something you're looking to be a part of, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, otherwise, uh, when things get better, we'll be back here Tuesday nights doing our class. But for today, I want to offer you, once again, a little bit more of a practice you can do at home with a 30-minute practice. So. Previously, I offered initially a 15-minute everyday practice that you could just do morning and night uh, whenever you need be. You're traveling, you're stuck at home, just something simple yet effective. And then offered you a 20-minute flow, right? something you could a little bit more challenging, a little bit more to it. So if the 15-minute was getting to be like, well, I'm used to this, or well, you know, it's not really hitting, I wish it was a little bit more, um, that offers you just that little bit more for that. This one, once again, just a little bit further, and again, they all build upon each other. So we're going to be offering um, a little bit more of a challenging flow today, uh, some little bit more in the warm up, and a little bit in a wind down too. So this way, if you have a little bit more time and you need to be able to get your practice in, and you wanted to do something that's gonna uh, do more than what we had in the prior ones, this one might work for you. So no more further talking. Why don't we get into that for today? And for today, we are going to start on our backs with a little bit of supine twisting. So on your mat, you're gonna come onto your backs. You're gonna bend your knees and place your feet flat down onto the ground. You're gonna open your arms wide like a T, and then you're gonna drop your legs off to the left-hand side and turn your head to the right we're going to close the eyes and breathe. We're going to begin to follow our breath. We'll begin to follow our inhale and follow the exhale. Noticing the length of the breath, the depth of the breath, the quality of the change of the breath. If the inhale is longer than the exhale, if the exhale is longer than the inhale, if the change is sharp, does it blend? Just notice and continue to breathe. As your thoughts arise, acknowledge them, allow them to pass by and return to the breath, inhaling and exhaling. Take two more rounds of breath here, inhaling and exhaling, and inhaling and exhaling. And after the second round of breath, gently bring the head and legs back to center. And then with the change in the breath, now dropping the head and legs to the opposite side. So dropping the legs to the right hand side, turn the head to the left side, close the eyes, and breathe. And again, follow the breath, following the inhale, following the exhale. And as your thoughts arise, acknowledge them, allow them to pass by, and return to the breath. Inhale and exhale.
I'm gonna take one more round of breath, inhaling and exhaling. And then after the second round of breath, we're gonna bring the head and legs back to center. You can bend the knees into the body, bringing the hands to the outside of the knees, giving it just a gentle squeeze in. Inhale and exhale. And then keeping hands to the outside of the knees, or we're going to bring them behind the knees. And we're going to begin to rock back and forth on the full length of the spine. Inhaling on the way back, exhaling on the way up as best as you can moving with the breath, following the breath. Two more rounds of breath, inhaling and exhaling, and inhale and exhale. And on the way up, you can just cross over the legs, initially coming to all fours on the mat, hands and knees tabletop. If you need a blanket under the knees to help support you if the floor is hard, feel free to do so. Bring the toes together and then sit all the way back onto the heels for child's pose. Close the eyes here and breathe. Inhale and exhale. With the next round of breath, you can just gently draw the hands back to the body, pressing into the palms, rising up to all fours, hands and knees tabletop position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And we can begin our rounds of cat and cow here. So on your inhale, drop the belly, raise the head, tuck the toes, spread the sternum. Exhale, tops of the feet down, round the back, suck the belly to the spine, drop the head. Inhaling for cow with live toes, toes tucked. Exhaling for cat dead toes, tops of the feet down. Moving with your breath, following your breath. And as your thoughts arise, acknowledging them, allowing them to pass by, and returning to the breath. Inhale and exhale. I'm going to take two more rounds of breath here, inhaling and exhaling and inhaling and exhaling. And after the second round of breath, I'm going to come back to that neutral spine position on the mat, hands and knees, tabletop position, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. I'm going to do a little bit here for the shoulders with thread the needle. So with your breath, you're going to sweep that right arm up to the sky. And then with the change in the breath, you're going to sweep it down across the body, bringing the cheek and the shoulder down to the mat, closing the eyes and breathing here, inhaling and exhaling.
the next round of breath. And just gently draw that left hand back to press into the palm, rising up, taking that right arm to the sky for a counter stretch, and then gently back down. And repeat the same now on the opposite side, sweeping the left arm to the sky, then down across the body, thread the needle, taking the forearm and the cheek down to the mat, closing the eyes and breathing here, inhaling and exhaling. Take one more round of breath, and then you can gently draw the right hand back to press into the palm, rise up, take that left arm to the sky for a counter stretch, and once again come back to that all fours position on the mat. Let's take our hands in front of us approximately three to four inches, take our knees somewhat wide, and we're going to begin to do circles with the hips in a clockwise rotation. Inhaling as you come through the top, exhaling as you come around the back, moving with the breath, following the breath. Depth of the circle is up to you and what's right for your body today. Maybe you want to take deep circles or maybe you want to take shallow ones, really just isolating the sacrum. Whatever is right for your body, just moving with the breath and following the breath. And after you've done approximately 10 in one direction, you'll counter-rotate and do approximately 10 in the opposite direction. Again, moving with the breath, following the breath. And as the thoughts arise, acknowledge them, allow them to pass by, returning to the breath. Once you've finished your rotations, take one counter rotation and then come back to that neutral spine position. From here, you're going to take the forearms long in front of you, keeping the hips high, taking the forehead down, letting the chest descend for puppy pose. Again, eyes closed and breathe. The next round of breath, you can gently draw the hands back to the body, press into the palms to rise up, tucking our back toes under and pressing up and back for downward facing dog. First down dog of the day, bend the knees as much as you need to. Outward rotation, the palms as needed. In our downward facing dog, let's take our feet as wide as the mat so we're in a wide legged dog here and begin to pedal our feet, bending one leg and straightening the other. And then with the change in the breath, the opposite leg bent, opposite leg straight. Moving with the breath, following the breath. I'm gonna come back to neutral with the feet here. And on the inhale, let's roll forward to a plank. Exhale, press back down dog. Inhale for plank, exhale for down dog. Inhale plank, exhale down dog. Let's walk our hands back to our feet so we're folding at the rear of the mat, keeping the legs wide so we're in a wide leg fold at the rear of the mat. We create a frame for the head with the hands holding onto the opposite elbows and we'll gently begin to sway from side to side with the breath.
come back to center and release the arms down. And on the inhale, let's rise up, arms to the sky, lengthen. On the exhale, lead with the heart, forward fold, Uttanasana. On the inhale, let's lift halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise up, arms to the sky, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, arms to the sky, lengthen. Exhale, fold, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, fold. Inhale, plant the hands, walk the hands back out. Once again, coming into downward facing dog. Bring the feet back to a traditional width about hip distance apart. On your inhale, let's roll forward to a plank position. Exhale, press back down dog. Inhale for plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Let's get tall on the balls of the feet. And then we'll baby step the feet forward in between the hands, coming into a forward fold, top of the mat, Uttanasana. Let's create a frame for the head with the hands holding onto the opposite elbows, so it feels unusual, and gently sway from side to side with the breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Coming back to center, release the hands down. On the inhale, let's rise up, arms to the sky, lengthen. Exhale, lead with the heart, fold, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, arms to the sky, lengthen. Exhale, fold, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, arms to the sky, lengthen. Exhale, fold, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, fold. Now, very slowly, one vertebrae at a time, like coins stacking in the back, we're going to rise up to stand. Just feeling each movement as we go. Breathing, allowing each muscle to come in, and we're going to rise up slowly to stand. And when you've come all the way to the top, you're going to bring the feet together, unlock the knees, bring the hands together into prayer position, the thumbs at the heart, the eyes are closed for Samastiti, our place of balance, our place of equanimity. And we'll go through the body and notice if we're gripping with a muscle or pressing with the palms. Maybe we've hunched the shoulders. Maybe we've tensed the feet. We'll just breathe and allow the body to balance. As the thoughts arise, Acknowledge them, allow them to pass by, return to the breath. The next exhale, hands down, sides of the body, palms face forward, eyes open to dasana. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky, taking a gentle back bend. Exhale, forward fold. On the inhale, plant the hand, step the right leg back, take the right knee and top of the foot down to the mat, rising up, arms above our head, palms facing in. Anjayasana, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Hands down to flank the foot, stepping back downward facing dog 
Inhale for plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, roll forward, baby cobra. Exhale, roll over the toes, press back to the seat, and downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, right foot forward, fold. Inhale, rise up, take a gentle back bend. Exhale, fold, fold. Inhale, plant the hand, step the left leg back. Take the left knee and top of the foot down to the mat. Slowly rise up, arms above our head, palms facing in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Hands down to flank the foot, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale for plank, exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, roll forward, baby cobra. Exhale, roll over the toes, press back to the seat, and downward facing dog. Inhale, step right foot forward, left foot forward, fold. Inhale, rise up, take a gentle back bend. Exhale, fold, fold. Inhale, plant the hand, step right leg back, stay tall on the ball of the foot, stance is wide enough to square the hips. Slowly rise up, arms above our head, palms facing in. High lunge, two breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Hands down to flank the foot, stepping back, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, roll forward, baby cobra. Exhale, roll over the toes, press back to the seat, and then up, downward facing dog. Inhale, step left foot forward, right foot forward, fold. Inhale, rise up, arms to the sky, take a gentle back bend. Exhale, fold, fold. Inhale, plant the hand, step left leg back, tall on the ball of the foot, stance is wide enough to square the hips. Slowly rise up, arms above our head, palms facing in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Hands down, stepping back, downward facing dog. Inhale for plank, exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, roll forward, baby cobra. Exhale, roll over the toes, press back to the seat, then downward facing dog. Five breaths, inhale, exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five. Let's bend the knees, look forward between the hands, step or hop, fold, fold. Inhale, rise up and sit back for Utkatasana, invisible chair pose, five breaths, inhale, exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five, rise all the way up, arms to the sky, Exhale, hands into prayer position, thumbs at the heart. Feet together, knees unlocked. Crown lifts, tailbone sinks. Samastiti. And we'll breathe. And allow the body to balance here. Inhaling and exhaling. The next exhale, hands down, sides the body, palms face forward, eyes open, Tadasana. Let's gently make our way down onto our backs, on our mats, so we can begin to wind down. 
So coming down onto your back on your mats. You're going to bend your knees, put your feet flat down onto the ground, ankles close to the glutes, legs slightly greater than hip distance apart, arms long along the sides of the body, the palms face down. Preparing for bridge position, Sarvangasana. Taking a breath, and then with your exhale, lifting the hips up towards the sky, chest towards chin, chin towards ceiling, wiggling the shoulder blades underneath the girdle to spread the sternum. Close the eyes and breathe. Inhale and exhale. With the next exhale, allowing the hips to lower back down to the mat. Allow the inner knees to drop into touch, opening the arms wide like a T. Close the eyes and breathe. Inhaling and exhaling. The next round of breath, separating the legs and taking the legs long, close together, the toes are pointed, bringing the arms long along the sides of the body and bringing the hands underneath the body so the glutes rest on the backs of the hands, preparing for Matsandrasana, Lord of the Fishes. And with the breath, we'll prop ourselves up onto our elbows, wiggling them underneath the body. Puffing the chest out, spreading the collarbone, and gently lowering the head back, taking the lower lip above the upper to stretch the front of the neck. Eyes closed and breathe. Inhale and exhale. Gently bring the chin into the chest, working the elbows out from underneath the body, coming to lie flat on our backs. Arms are long along the sides of the body, the palms are facing up for Savasana, our final relaxation. All we have to do here is breathe, be still, and sink into our mat. So that's it for that one, folks. A little 30 minute flow for you. A little bit more than the prior ones, a little bit more engaging, a little bit more vigorous. Um, not as vigorous as an hour flow. Uh, that is something I do have available on the Patreon account. So there are exclusive videos available for Patreon subscribers of full one hour flows uh, that you can go get into. That uh, a lot of what you see here and then plus a bunch more. So uh, if that's something you'd like to be a part of, feel free to click on the link and check out uh, Patreon. Um, other than that, as again, as I always say, with this, doing these flows at any point uh, that they, you need a rest, drop in a child's pose. If it became too much, maybe you normally do a flow like this and it's nothing and then one day it's challenging. Just drop in a child's pose, listen to your body and breathe, come back into the flow. The most important thing is the breath. Uh, at the time that I am recording this, we are in a challenging time here in our world, in our country, in the United States, throughout. And fear has got a lot of people gripped. Uh, fear and anxiety. Danger is real, but fear is a choice. 
how do you choose to deal with that? How do you choose to deal with what's going on? Use what you learn in the practice. Breathe. Follow the breath. When fear arises, acknowledge it. Allow it to pass by. Return to the breath. Fear might come right back up. That's okay. Again, acknowledge it. Allow it to pass by. Return to the breath. Over and over and over again. Eventually, it won't have the power over you that it did initially. And slowly over time, that grip that it has lessens and lessens and lessens. So just practice. So thanks again for watching. Namaste.